What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy. We back here with another reaction for y'all, and we back with another offending everybody and such. And we got what is the most offensive shirt now? I ain't gonna cap. We have all have word shirts. Shirts? <laughs> I can't even talk. We all have worn shirts in our life where some people may not like it, what it says. Some people may think it's funny. Others may think it's freaking hilarious. And some may think it's, well, hence the title, offensive. So, and I'm guessing either he's going to promote some of his shirts that he probably has on his merch store or just promote or just say some random shirts that could potentially trigger people's. But either way, I'm up for it. So we about to check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get to it. Attention! We all want attention. But how do you get it when you're talentless? Simple. By wearing a provocative shirt. <laughs> Not like the thick Dude. girl at the bar. All eyes are on you. So if you want people approaching or avoiding you, then you're gonna need a shirt that offends everybody! Starting off with three things every guy likes. Doggy, doggy, and of course, doggy. <laughs> <laughs> do you like doggy, doggy, and doggy. You see the title. You see what it is. But hey, that is cra that's crazy. I mean, I wouldn't call that shirt offensive. Just saying. Up with three things every guy likes: doggy, doggy, and of course, doggy. <laughs> You like how our back is arched? That's attention detail, fellas. Imagine showing up to the funeral with this gem on, pissing off your uncle and making your cousin laugh. Makes you wish your aunt died sooner. Now, speaking of dogs, my next design is probably the most f***ed up and true thing I've ever said, which is best part of the dog, they can never say no. <laughs> so, yep, I think so. That just answered my question. So it's his type of designs that would ever be on a shirt. That's crazy. Best part of a dog, they can't, they can never say no. That's crazy. And true thing I've ever said, which is best part of the dog, they can never say no. <laughs> Look at his little face. The panic, the fear. Oh, it's gonna be hard to call the cops when you don't have thumbs, am I right? Who hasn't looked at a corgi button and said, Damn, how could I resist your honor? I mean, look at it. Look at it. Besides, sometimes <laughs> when a man gets. Nice little Patrick. Look at it. Look at it. I want all of you to look at it. If you can tell me what episode of SpongeBob that was, leave a like and subscribe. Damn! How could I resist your honor? I mean, look at it. <laughs> Besides, sometimes when a man gets lonely, and I mean real lonely, a dog can, um, fill the void to catch my drift. All it takes is some peanut butter, a locked door, and patience. Let him come to you. Uh, the trick is making him want it. Now, what if your kink is making people suffer? Yeah, well, yo. you'll love my next design. Think where your tongue is. Go ahead, think about it. Can't stop moving it, right? But where was it before I mentioned it? Was it at the top or bottom? Or why can't I stop thinking about this? Well, now you can torture everyone with a subtle yet tasteful day ruiner. Now what if you're not a sociopath but still want people to stay away from you? Well, you'll love my next design. I don't wash my hands. <laughs> what is that? Ew. That would be nasty. Hold on, what you said about that shirt? People to stay away from you? Well, you a subtle yet tasteful day ruiner. Uh, now what if you're not a sociopath but still want people to stay away from you? Well, you'll love my next design. I don't wash my hands. <laughs> That's nasty. What is that? Is that what I think it is? Maybe. Do you really want to get close enough to find out? No. <laughs> you know, I showed this to a friend and he said to look like a gay Italian saying hello. <laughs> That's crazy. A gay Italian? Wee oui, wee, oui, I guess. <laughs> you know, I showed this to Literally. a friend and he said to look like a gay Italian saying hello. That's nasty. Which, which is not wrong. Although I always thought a gay Italian hello was having their gold chain tea bag you. Speaking of sticky stuff, uh, my next no. shirt is probably the most relatable one. Called Eat Fap Game Repeat. <laughs> for all, well, all I'm gonna say is I hope for all my gamers out there, y'all ain't doing this. Eat, fat, game, repeat. 
freaking well I do eat food and I do play video games but I ain't fapping <laughs> what the fuck my next shirt is probably the most relatable one called eat fat, fat game, game repeat, repeat. <laughs> this one hit a little close to home for some of y'all let your homies know they're not alone I mean, in a way they are, but at least you're sad together. You know, they say misery loves company and tears are natural lube. <laughs> Maybe I should have called this one. That's crazy. The tears is lube is crazy. Just imagine you just go and go down on yourself with that. Using your tear. That's crazy. Hey, one thing's for sure. I got to make sure I put a warning for every time I react to a offending everybody video whatever I say it all relates to it always happens within the vid this video so don't come at me besides this nigga has made a living off of doing this shit and he hasn't and I'm surprised this nigga is freaking I'm surprised this nigga videos don't be age restricted because I guarantee you it should I guarantee you it is because with certain shit like this and knowing how most people are very 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 sensible sensitive or so I mean it would be crazy not to get triggered well, close to home for me I don't care but homies know they're not alone I mean, in a way they are, but at least you're sad together. You know what they say, misery loves company, company. and tears are natural lube. <laughs> Maybe I should have called this one shots fired. Now, if your teacher asks you what fat means, just tell her you're in touch with your emotions. That way you're technically not lying. Miss Sullivan, I'm not feeling well. Do you mind if I go pound out some sadness? Speaking of fat- <laughs> That would be a crazy excuse. Do you mind if I go pound out some sadness? Shit. If that if that were easy, do you know how much motherfuckers would be go doing that right now? Not even just at school, just at jobs and shit. <laughs> Let me go pound out some sadness real quick. Miss Sullivan, I'm not feeling well. Do you mind if I go pound out pound some, down sadness? some sadness? Speaking of fapping, my next design is Life Begins at the Boner. <laughs> Life Begins at the Boner. That's crazy. <laughs> Look, I know I'm saying that's crazy to all of them, but let's be it. But come on now. Some of these are, I can't, we're just only two minutes in. Um, some of these ones, like Life Begins at the Boner, I Don't Wash My Hands. What was the other one? Think Where, my, think where Your Tongue Is. And the first one, what was it? Freaking Best Part of a Dog That They Can't Say No. Those are crazy. <laughs> And it's basically like this. If you you know the whole thing with the school where if you can't wear certain shows shows shirts that have inappropriate type of lettering or whatever. Boy oh boy, if anyhow you were to wear a shirt or a jacket that had something like these and such, you automatically going home. <laughs> they automatically sending your ass back home. Do you mind if I go pound it? Got some sadness. Speaking of fapping, my next design is Life Begins at the Boner. boner. <laughs> you know how many times I have my editor draw the word boner? I'm like, it needs to look more like a dick. At one point, he gets fed up and just sends back a real life DVD. Hey, yo. I mean, this is what you're looking for, right? <laughs> oh, oh, you see, this design speaks to me as I currently live in Texas where imaginary friends tell people what laws to write. And it does make you think, where does life really begin? Because one could argue a stiffy is the first sign of it. Meaning every time you spank it, technically you're committing an atrocity. That's not splooge in your trash can. It's boneless children. Speaking of child graves, God. We all know he loves giving kids cancer, but what really makes him hard is the forbidden. So get on your knees as I shower you with my next design. He has risen. <laughs> oh yeah, he, he, like I said, when it comes to him, he lets it go, no diddy, on every aspect, whether you're... <laughs> All I gotta say is, it's like, his, it's like his thumb, it's like his channel banner says. Basically, he be doing butthurt jokes, and if you are butthurt, don't watch this channel. Don't come to his channel expecting him not to freaking... Hold back. Nigga, his channel is literally called Offending Everybody. Whether you're black, white, trans, Latino, 
he goes at you. And I as a black person, especially a Caribbean black person, shit, go right ahead. Because as long as it's funny and you're going at everybody else, go. <laughs> If spank does make you think, where does life really begin? Because one could argue a stiffy is the first sign of it. Meaning every time you spank it, technically you're committing an atrocity. That's not That's Scrooge crazy. in your trash can. It's boneless children. That's crazy. Speaking of child graves, God. We all know ah, he loves boy. giving kids cancer, but what really makes him hard is the forbidden. So oh. get on your knees as I shower you with my next design. As yes. yes. for this <laughs> You know, I'm gonna help. You don't believe in it, right? I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Mm. You like how the devil is looking at Jesus, making sure he's giving consent? Is this okay? Is this okay? Is this okay? That's Speaking crazy. of baby carrots, many guys feel like they're inadequate. Mostly because y'all watching too much corn. Corn is like the Olympics of porking. Mm. Okay, stop comparing yourself to freaks. That's where my next design comes in. Six inches is average. <laughs> oh, his face is so perfect. That's crazy. Oh, uh, like it's average, right? And his little hand. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, average hand. Give me that thumbs up. Oh, I'm really happy how this one came out. Now, before I get to my last design, I want to tell you my favorite joke. What's the difference between Michael Phelps and the Hitman? Michael Phelps knows how to finish a race. And now it sounds horrible, but. Yep, I'm turning my back on that one because that's crazy. <laughs> That was crazy. Yes, I had to turn my complete back on that one because that one was crazy. I know, I, like I said, I know I said all of them are crazy. And look, I don't care how long this reaction is. Y'all clicked on this reaction for a reason. Because of shit. So you expect me not to react to something when I hear something that crazy and such and make me just be like, when you hear niggas say something like this. Now before I get to my last design, I want to tell you my favorite joke. What's the difference between Michael Phelps and the Hitman? Michael Phelps knows how to finish a race. <laughs> and now it sounds horrible, but it really isn't. It doesn't say any race should be finished. It just says Michael Phelps knows how to finish one. You see? Your own assumptions are what make it offensive. Which is the same reaction people have when I show them my favorite t-shirt design. Friends. <laughs> Perfect. Because we're all thinking the same thing, yet nothing in the picture is actually offensive. Just a bunch of multicultural friends looking to have a good, hard time. Exactly. Actually, I lied. I have one more design. Well, it's less of a design and more of a life mantra. And that's any whole will do. <laughs> hey, yo. No. Especially in his t case, no. Daddy, nigga. Fuck you, mean. Nah, nigga. What? What, nigga? Excuse me? Excuse the fuck me? What you mean, any whole will do? No, the hell they... Less of a design and more of a life mantra. If it's a and female whole... whole will do. <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah, it what is... It means whatever you want it to mean. There's no, a lot thank of holes you. out there. Some good, some stinky. We all have to decide which hole fits us best. And with this shirt, you can tell the world that any... No! Do. So if you want to piss off your friends, family, or enemies, then pick up your shirt today at OffensiveSwipe.com. That's I right, at OffensiveSwipe.com, so you can yeah, torture your school bully and live rent-free in your crush's head, all while supporting your boy. Because dark, twisted humor makes me hard, but censorship makes me flaccid. And I refuse <laughs> to dial back any of my jokes because some snowflakes can't handle it. So if you want to support my crusade... I was saying that... I was saying that earlier. If you're a circle jerk, there's the rest of YouTube, then pick up your shirt today at offensiveswipe.com, where every shirt is designed to turn heads and hopefully get your head. <clears throat> mm, you know what you want to do? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I said, like, he just said it before. He just said it for me, so. Yeah, I'm giving that a like. I don't care what y'all see. <laughs> hey. Y'all let me know which shirt to you was the most offensive one but the all right most funny crazy out of pocket one for me the most out of pocket one is the freaking I honestly like all of them are all out of pocket but shit I couldn't even tell you which one 
you know what let me just save myself from even telling you which one is the most effed up all of them is effed up <laughs> and it's crazy but yeah y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below let's see how much people are offended by him for this one <laughs> but it's been your boy Ombaziggy signing out stay positive keep the vibes up I'm out